Mr. Speaker, sir, my motion on matters of urgent public importance is on the need to urgently investigate the deliberate and reckless refusal by the non-Treasury funded MDAs to render their accounts covering 2014 to 2018 to the Auditor General for the Federation as required by Section 85 on the, of the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria as amended. I rise to seek the indulgence of my honorable colleagues to allow us suspend the relevant rules so that I can go ahead and present this very important motion. I so submit. I, Honorable Abdul Kader from Ningi. I so second, sir. Those in support of the motion that the matter is urgent and that we suspend our rules to take it now, please say aye. Those against, please say nay. Ayes have it. Honorable Ningi. We need to urgently investigate the deliberate and reckless refusal by some non-Treasury funded MDAs to render their accounts covering 2014 to 2018 to the Auditor General for the Federation as required by Section 85 of the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, 1999, as amended. Along with me, Mr. Speaker, are 40 other members. The House recalls that Section 85 5 of the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, 1999, as amended, establishes the legal basis for the appointment of an Auditor General for the Federation and empowers him to receive reports of audited public accounts of the Federation, its offices, and courts. Further recalls that the Auditor General for the Federation is responsible for receiving reports of public audits conducted by MDAs, comment on annual audits and auditors' reports, submit the report to the National Assembly within 90 days after receipt from the Accountant General of the Federation and conduct checks on government corporations, commissions, authorities, agencies, and other statutory bodies. Note that this constitutional role vested in the Auditor General for the Federation is sacred and sacrosanct. Hence, it must be discharged in good faith with speed and support from all MDAs. Further note that notwithstanding the above, a thorough and careful review of the reports laid before the National Assembly by the Auditor General for the Federation covering the period of 2014 to date and published on its website indicates that non-Treasury funded MDAs have been consistently excluded from the reports because of their refusal to submit their reports and documents for the mandatory constitutional and statutory audit. Note that this has hampered the Auditor General for the Federation from performing the role and discharging the burden constitutionally imposed on him. This flagrant violation of the Constitution is by extension an attempt to frustrate the National Assembly from performing its constitutional responsibility imposed by Section 85 of the Constitution. Concerned that such lawlessness and rascality has accounted for the huge abuses that has characterized public spending in some MDAs. This is already impacting on the revenue of the federal government of Nigeria, as alluded to by the Honorable Minister of Finance and National Planning, when she mentioned that the federal government is having a serious revenue crisis. Concern that if urgent steps are not taken to investigate these allegations, then the anti-corruption war of the current administration may be sabotaged and significantly compromised. Resolves to mandate the House Committee on Public Accounts to investigate these allegations and report back to the House within six weeks for further legislative action. I so submit, Mr. Speaker. I, the National Assembly, which are supposed to live above board and become reference points to other subnational bodies, have decided to be abusing the laws of this country, and they have decided to become a sort of government within government. Mr. Speaker, sir, my honorable colleagues, by law, these MDAs are supposed to make their uh, financial books available to the Auditor General of the Federation for comments and check. But curiously, since from 2014 till date, there has been a consistent refusal by these MDAs to make available their books to the Auditor General for the Federation. You will all agree with me, Mr. Speaker, my honorable colleagues, that this has resulted into a lot of uh, 
unwanted outcomes. Because just recently, the executive have been given one order after another for some MDAs to be subjected to forensic audit. And I believe that if these MDAs had been given their accounts to the Auditor General for comments and check, it will not have resulted into this level. As a result of this, Mr. Speaker, we feel that the House need to uh, assign the Public Account Committee to look into this allegation with a view to reporting back to the House within six weeks for further legislative action. Beside this, Mr. Speaker, very recently, while on a retreat, the Public Account Committee, we had an engagement with some officials of the Auditor General of the Federation. And uh, there were very disturbing revelations that came out of that retreat, Mr. Speaker, ranging from some officers of the Auditor General of the Federation being threatened by some MDAs, and particularly this is more true with saying that they are guilty. He's saying that going forward, if an agency does not, if an agency, hold on a second, that if an agency does not submit its uh, audited report as required by law, then those, that agency must not be considered for appropriation. He is not saying that any agency is guilty of such. Those in support of the those in support of the motion as amended, please say aye. Those against, please say nay. The ayes have it.